Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to film this video today because I'm doing a favorites video of sorts. I'm looking at all my items over there and I'm excited to share them with you. Also, I changed my shirt because I spilled tea all over my white shirt just now. So now I'm wearing this little sweater and it's November 2nd today. My birthday was yesterday. I got a haircut. I didn't get it blow dried, so it's like brushed out a little bit on the top, but I just, I don't want to wash it yet. And my bangs look good, which I feel like is all that matters, right? So if you're wondering why my hair looks like this, that's why. But anyway, it's definitely, you know, the beginning of fall. And so these aren't, you know, fall favorites technically, but they're things that I've purchased recently, either new or secondhand, that I think are going to really get me through fall and, you know, seasons beyond. So I'm excited to share. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to share is this thing called seasonal color analysis. So this has been around forever, but I feel like there's been a resurgence on TikTok recently. So basically, seasonal color analysis is a tool that you can use if you want. Obviously, wear what you want whenever you want to, but if you want to use it, it's a tool that can help you find the colors that kind of work best for your skin color, hair color, eye color. And they're supposed to like brighten you up and make you feel great. And I don't know about you, but I can definitely use that. So what's interesting is that growing up, I always thought that I was a winter. Now looking back, I can see that that was because I always dyed my hair really dark because I was like really emo in high school. But looking at my natural hair color and eye color now, I could recognize that I'm like a pretty true autumn. You know, I feel like my go-to color has always been black because I feel like it's chic and it's so easy to wear. But that's the one color that true autumns are never supposed to wear because it is so dark and it does wash me out. So anyway, when I'm thrifting and, you know, looking at pieces that I want to add to my fall winter wardrobe, it's been really fun to experiment with these new autumn colors that I've honestly always loved but just never thought that I could pull off, you know, like green and even like orange and yellow are colors that I love. I mean, I have them all over my home, but I've just never worn them. So it's been really fun to experiment with those and sort of change my wardrobe up by adding those colors that are in my season. And yeah, I just think it's a fun way to just like update your wardrobe. Obviously, not all at once. Just like having it in the back of my mind has just been a fun little, you know, way to spice up my wardrobe. So definitely look into that if it's something you're interested in. I paid a woman that I found on TikTok <laughs> to do my colors for me, but you could also just like take free quizzes online or even, you know, look at different seasons. If you just like type in color season, whatever on Pinterest, you can find tons of resources for free. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing a video about it, which is why I paid someone to do it, like to tell me what my colors were. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I definitely want to figure out how to make it helpful for everyone and not just true autumns like me. So um, yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in in the comments below. Speaking of wardrobe updates, I have a few pieces that I'm really excited to share. So this first one, as you could see, is in my fall, or not fall, autumn. It's not fall, it's my autumn color palette. It's this really pretty, sort of like orangey, almost coral color. And it's just this really gorgeous gauzy dress from a brand called Daughters of India. But I did pick it up on Poshmark secondhand because you all know if I can get something secondhand, I prefer it. It was also a little bit discounted, which is great. I wore this yesterday on my birthday and I got so many compliments on it. It's like such a perfect birthday dress. But then Nick and I are also going to Hawaii in the next few weeks and I thought it would be perfect for that. But obviously, if I'm gonna buy something new, I wanna make sure it's something that I can wear for a long time, not just for special occasions. And I feel like this is a perfect like everyday dress for me. It's definitely very oversized and billowy, but I love that. I feel like it's so comfortable. I'm sorry my voice is a little scratchy today. I'm getting over a sickness, but I'm feeling much better now, but that's like the last thing that's annoying, which is why this video is taken so long to be released. But anyway, I did have to buy sort of like nude slip because I don't know if you can tell, it's very see-through, but when I wear that um, slip, it's fine and I feel very comfortable in it. But yeah, this is my first 
thing I wanted to show you that I got off Poshmark. Up next, I have this beautiful organic cotton top from the brand Cezanne. This I've been wearing nonstop recently. Like I said, it's made out of organic cotton. I just realized I might not have been in frame, hello. It's made out of organic cotton and it's, it's such a great weight for California. Obviously, if you're in colder climates, I feel like you could layer this really easily. But for me, this is a perfect sort of mid-weight top that I can wear in the fall and winter, you know, and spring and summer, right, with shorts. The button detail down the front is so sweet, and I feel like it makes it even more versatile because I could wear it all the way buttoned up or buttoned down or even open with something underneath it. And I think that is great, especially when, you know, you have a smaller wardrobe like I do. Pieces like this that are really versatile are the go-to. They're the ideal, right? So I love this and yeah, I've been wearing this a bunch too and will continue to. The last clothing item that I wanted to show is actually something I thrifted. I, I didn't get enough footage to like make a whole video with that. So that's so why I'm adding it into this video. I picked up this really beautiful vase for my mother-in-law for her birthday and I put roses in it and a little bow and it was such a perfect gift for her. But then I was also looking for some pieces to update my wardrobe with. I feel like I can't be the only one who's just been wearing activewear for the past three years. I love activewear, loungewear specifically, but I do feel like, okay, I'm ready to get dressed again. <laughs> um, so I was looking for some pieces to add to my fall winter capsule wardrobe that isn't finished yet, but hopefully someday soon I'll be able to share that video with you. I love the sort of moto jacket silhouette of it. It's really classic, a little bit edgy, which I think is really fun with my new haircut. This was the only thing that I found at the thrift that day. I tried on this other dress that was just like so hilarious to me. I love the fabric. It's like a really cute pinstripe fabric, but then I just looked like a sack of potatoes in this dress, so won't be, I didn't purchase that, won't be purchasing that, but I'm really happy with this and I feel like it'll be a great addition, just something really easy I can throw over any outfit um, in my wardrobe, so that's that. Okay, up next, I wanna show you two lip products that I've been really liking for the last couple weeks. So they're both from a brand called Axiology, which I've talked about a bunch on my channel. Their little balmies are an item that I always have in my everyday makeup kit, but these are new from them and they're really cool. So the first one is the Multi-Stick Tinted Dew. So this is my favorite one. It's described as a bright cherry red with fiery undertones. And I like it because the texture is smoother and has a like dewier glide than their balmies. So if you've ever tried their balmies, they're kind of crayon-like, which is great. You can use them, you know, for your cheeks, eyes, and lips. But this has, I don't know if you can tell, definitely a balmier texture, which I feel like is really um, perfect for my dry skin. Here, I'll apply it so you can see. So it's definitely a buildable color, which is nice. And again, this is the color Strength. And I love it. So this is kind of like the cherry red color. And then the other formulation they have is called the Multi-Stick Cream Color. So this one is described as a sophisticated mauve with hints of plum and has a richer, creamier color. Whoa, so as you can see, this one is like much brighter, um, I think they're both great just in different ways. Like if you want more of a no makeup or like lighter makeup look, then the Tinted Dew is a great option. And if you love lipstick and bright colors, then the Color Cream is definitely your go-to. Let me go wash this off really quick and I'll put the other one on. Okay, sorry, I just had to check in the actual mirror that I was doing that correctly. So yeah, this one's definitely a lot brighter. It's still a lot creamier than the Balmy and the Balmy is not, not creamy in a bad way. It's just a, like a, a thicker formula because it's in the crayon formulation. These ones are able to be a little bit softer because they're in these paper tubes, if that makes sense. So I love this brand so much. They have no fragrance, no alcohol, no gluten, no palm oil, no synthetic preservatives, no animal testing, and no animal derived ingredients, which is great. I'm definitely gonna be giving lots of these for Christmas this year. I feel like they're such a fun gift and I love them. 
So there you go. Okay, and the last few things that I wanted to share in this video are my ceramic coated pots and pans from the brand Caraway Home. So if you've been online for any amount of time, I'm sure you've seen people talk about these. They're very popular, but for good reason. They're just, they're like really incredible ceramic coated pots and pans. Um, I cook pretty much every meal for myself at home, so I feel like I'm an authority. I'm not, but like I cook a lot at home and I really, really love these. I love that they're ceramic coated, they're non-toxic. Let me see if I can get this right. They're free of PFOAs, PFAs, PTFE, so that's Teflon, and they're also free of heavy metals. And I've actually never had a matching, I'm just holding this like this, I've actually never had a matching set of cookware in my adult life, so this is really exciting for me. You know, when I got sick six months ago, it started to get really hard for me to cook because I had really heavy pots and pans, and this wrist specifically, I, it just like started hurting a lot and I couldn't even lift up my pots and pans. These, like I keep saying, the quality is really amazing, but I can like, I can like lift them with one hand and it just makes cooking and cleaning so much easier. As you can see in this clip, I'm frying up some zucchini um, to put in my pasta and I really love getting my veggies like really nice and caramelized and brown and it's just so easy to do that in this pan without it sticking. And then cleanup is really easy too. A lot of times I don't even need to use, I have like my little, dish scrubber here but a lot of times i don't even need to use this i'll just use soap and water and just be able to like rinse it out easily which is wild to me and i just really appreciate especially with all this health stuff that i've been going through the last few months that i'm cooking on cookware that's non-toxic and free of teflon and those forever chemicals that are so scary um, so yeah, I definitely prefer the ceramic. When you're cooking on nonstick, it's really important to not use metal because you don't want anything to chip. Um, so to take care of them and make sure that they stay in good condition for years to come, I use a silicone spoon or I use a wooden spoon that needs to be conditioned. But basically these are my two spoons that I use. And yeah, I mean, I've been using these for, I wanna say two months now and they still look brand new to me. And what's interesting is that when I first got them, I was like, wow, I mean, like I said, I, I never had a matching set of cookware before. And I was like, what am I gonna use all this stuff for? But I use all of it, like weekly. I feel like it's everything you need and nothing you don't. And I really appreciate that. Also, the pan and lid storage is a game changer. It seems like a small thing, but it's just so nice to be able to look at these and you know see them all lined up and all organized. They can fit in your cabinet. I like them up on top of my fridge because I think the yellow and the blue look really cute together. Also, just to be transparent with you all, I was sent these through PR, but this isn't sponsored. I would tell you it's like against the law. I don't know if people know this. Oops. It's against the law for me to like show something in a video, in a video that's sponsored and not tell you it's sponsored. And I follow the law. I follow the letter of the law. So I will tell you if things are sponsored. So yeah, it's on sale right now through December, 20% off, which I think is their biggest sale of the year. I'm actually buying a set for my mother-in-law, which reminds me I need to tell her not to watch this video because it's a surprise. Um, but anyway, I have a code and a link that you can get that discount through in the description below. And yeah, I'm, I just, I really love this stuff and I think you will too. And that's all I have to say about that. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I'm really excited about the next video I'm gonna post. It's going to be a travel capsule wardrobe and I can't wait for you to see it. So check and make sure you're subscribed and like this video if you liked it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.